Hello and welcome back to Sarah Reacts. Today we're going to be watching season one, episode eight of the Pacific, and this one's called Iwo Jima. Which, if I'm not mistaken, that's the picture, that famous picture of where the, the holding up the flag. I think that's right anyway. <laughs> yeah, so last episode, the Marines have now left Leilu and then they've gone back to where their kind of like sort of base is. We lost the captain, Ak Ak, unfortunately. He was a really good man. I was really worried that they were gonna somehow make me think he is and then take it away by revealing he's a horrible person. But thankfully they didn't. <laughs> and like as much as a weirdo, a creepy weirdo <laughs> that I think Snafu is, he definitely is observant and he like keeps an eye out for Sledge. So when Sledge was against that man torturing the Japanese soldier, he, he ended it. And then when Sledge was contemplating taking the gold from another dead soldier's teeth, Snafu talked him out of it by saying germs and stuff like that. And you can definitely tell he cares about him and doesn't want him to go over that line. But yeah, let's get into it. Enough chattering. Why did he throw it away? How much does he have to do? I mean, does he have to keep doing all of that? I'll push through your discharge. Got to go home now. No, sir, that's not what I mean. Does he want to go back? My home is the court. I just can't push pencils anymore. Yeah. Please, I'm going to go back and train the new kids. You make me proud to be a Marine. It's a tower. No war gone dry for me, though. Don't be salty about it. Another combat veteran training. Fall in for PT. Five mile run. Three minutes. Hey, Sergeant. Get head start, head start on all your training, right? And then when everyone else arrives, you can be like, seen as amazing, and be like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you can definitely tell he's he's train, training them in like an intense way, but he's not doing it in a in a horrendous way. He's doing it in a way that you can tell he's he wants them to you know survive when they're out there. Oh. It's nice to see uh, women officers. Not really shows about them, is there? That's why you arranged all this. To impress me before we get down to business? Business? Exploring the veggies together? No. Well, that's standard operating procedure for you, isn't it? Ooh! <laughs> Burn! <laughs> I did something stupid, I'm sorry. You didn't do anything really that I got to have done. You just did it in a nicer room. <laughs> Burn! Leader is amazing. <laughs> KP reports 0530, I show 0500. Go up a little earlier, I'll make you French toast. Aww. That's so cute. <laughs> Every Marine out of those racks and on my deck! You got five seconds! Five seconds. three. Well, I suppose getting them ready because the um, Japanese like to attack them during the night a lot, didn't they? So. I was half expecting him to turn around and go, what the hell? <laughs> That's what the enemy is to you, huh? A fucking buck tooth cartoon dreamed up by some asshole on Madison Avenue to South Salt. That's what I was saying last episode. John gets me. John gets me. <laughs> the Japanese soldier. You can call him whatever you want. But never, ever fail. To respect their desire to put you and your buddies into an early grave. Is that clear? Yes, sir. She's looking forward to my freedom. I can't imagine. I suppose he doesn't really see it as a freedom. You do too. I'll have everything. Let's say. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Oh. <laughs> They're adorable! 
people! Sergeant John Vassalone has decided that home can wait. You will be joining us. Oh, so he is going to go on. back in. Okay. I said, is anybody scared? No, sir! You're lying sacks of shit. <laughs> it's good to be scared. Because you're awake. Look for something else. I mean, she, I don't think she would have. Yeah, I don't think she would have gotten with you if she didn't know what she was getting into. Oh my God! Yeah, so that was season one, episode eight of The Pacific. Oh God, that took everything a minute to like start sobbing at the end there. I was like, no, Sarah, don't sob. It's okay. <laughs> but oh, I knew that's going to happen. I was thinking there's no way they would have like such a good freaking episode of him and Lena and just... Oh, and I was like, when he said he was re-enlisting, I thought, fuck, he's going to die this episode. I just wanted them to live happily ever after, but no, no. <laughs> that, was, that was such a good episode, such a good episode. Honestly, that is probably one of my favourites of the entire season. You could tell that John was hating his, like, tour. He definitely hated being away from all the other Marines and, and not being a part of, of the war and helping in a, in a more physical way instead of 
you know, just getting war bonds sold and doing commercials and all that stuff. So I was happy when he decided to speak up and tell them what he wanted. He wanted to go back and train and then go back into combat and he did. Unfortunately, so full of vanilla access is available on patreon.com forward slash Sarah